a really cool new feature coming to Avon, something I've never heard about and I'm really excited about, the Cohabit Pod Hotel. And I've got Karen and Brett with me to give us some more information. Thank you guys so much for oh, coming thank you for on having us. Christmas thank you Day. Having us. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> kind of a busy morning to be yes. here doing this. So Very, thank you. Exciting. We appreciate you coming <laughs> in. Thank you for having us. We're so excited. We've got a two-year-old at home, so getting out of the house is, <laughs> can be a little chaotic. I can only imagine, but and launching this whole new concept yes. right here in the heart of Avon. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're really excited about it. Um, Brett and I have been in the Valley now uh, 15, just over 15 years, and mostly in the hospitality, hotel, and customer service industry for all those years, and then just recently real estate. And we really just realized there's just such a shortage of affordability, whether it's short term, long term, um, and we started brainstorming, okay, how do we address this? And Really, that's how Cohabit was born, just to provide affordable accommodation, great customer service, something for everybody to enjoy the mountains. Seriously, and it's such a cool concept. It's almost like putting tiny homes mm -hmm. inside one yeah. place so yeah. that not only does it form a community, but it kind of gives you a little safe space as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing that a lot now with, with the tiny homes and the minimalists, and people are really enjoying that, that yeah. lifestyle. And we just, we've always loved the concept of hostels. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, we've traveled extensively. We've been to, gosh, dozens of countries between the two of us. And we always stay at hostels. We like the community feel, the social aspect of it. But we always want to stay in a private room. So we don't want to stay in the bunk rooms and, and be around a bunch of other people. So that's yeah, how to this, merge those yeah, concepts. So we kind of came up with this, where you still have your own private little space, um, enclosed, private, um, secure, and uh, yeah. I mean, it's awesome because it, it, here people are so friendly and the community that the Vale Valley has is one in a million. And I mean that with my whole heart. So getting to really dive into that and enjoy that. But then at the end of the day, if you're tired, you skied too hard, you can go and relax in the comfort of your own little exactly, sanctuary. Exactly, exactly. We just think people want to experience the mountains. We, we do things as groups, as friends, as a great apres scene, a really social scene in Vail. Um, but then sometimes you maybe want that privacy. So, so yeah, so what you're seeing there is just how um, our pods and they have a couple of twin bunk beds in them, <laughs> really comfortable, nice little space. Uh, we've done custom lighting, we do um, custom um, insulation, so it's totally noise insulated, well ventilated, and then we haven't skimped on any of the, the luxury, so really luxury linens, um, memory foam beds, just a nice little space. So making it really homey in, mm -hmm. a, in yeah. a little, little middle exactly. middle space, which is, I mean, one in a million, and where you guys are located is crucial. We mm -hmm. love the location. It's bus great, route, yeah. a grocery store, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got sushi, we've got the Mexican place, we've got um, gondola pizza. Weekends, there's the rodeo lot right there, so we'll have the bus coming right there. Um, during the week, there's the other skier shuttle that comes to the other side of Chapel Square. Uh, so yeah, it's a really great location, really accessible. Yeah, just walking distance to everything. So all ground floor location, and we got really beautiful views too. So the common space is really great. We offer a really nice, comfortable lounge, um, full ski lockers, so you can store all your gear because even though we offer a really small space, we want you to have everything that you need with you. So we have locking ski racks for ski and snowboard storage, um, and then beautiful custom built um, shower suites. So there's a lot of privacy that goes along with adding that social element. And then again, that affordability, because our, our, our target demographic is not necessarily budget, but somebody that's thinking, well, I'd rather spend my money somewhere else. They want to be skiing at Or Cray. maybe they don't want to just be able to come for two days. Maybe they want right. four days. Mm -hmm. And by cutting the cost, you're allowing people to really dive in and feel what it's like to be here. Right. Or, with, or skip the traffic. And with the Epic Pass now, <laughs> they can stay for four days. So you buy the Epic Pass up front, and you've got the flexibility. So having that affordable option to stay for a few days is, is ideal, especially if the snow is great. I mean, which it's it's been pretty great. Good right. season. Yeah, we're <laughs> so excited. We're excited right. about it. It's season. been a great season. We are all out of time. Thank you guys Thank so you. much Thank for coming in. Thank you so much in. for having Thank us. And we brought us. you a couple of cookies, so oh, Merry Christmas. I, Thank I you for having cookies. us. Thank you yeah. so Thank much you. for the cookies. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Merry Christmas. And make sure that maybe if you're already here visiting or you're about to come and visit, you look into this great option for a place to stay because not only is the social aspect going to be fun, it's in a great location. You're right next to the grocery store. You're right next to the bus stop. There are so many great 
restaurants by you. I mean, you can't go wrong. So make sure that you go to their website and you book now or coming up soon so that you can make sure that you reserve your own perfect little sanctuary in one of these perfect little pods. Coming up next, we've got more Good Morning Vale, so stay tuned.